So I run a skincare brand called JD Body Treats and it's centered around aromatherapy and overall skin wellness. Um, it's really centered on self-care, self-love, and really treating yourself to um, just something special. That's really the purpose of what I do is to make people feel special. I handcraft everything from inside my home office until I get a storefront, hopefully. Um, yeah, so everything is formulated and crafted by me. The only thing I don't make is the jars, but I make everything from the products to the labels. So I've been in business for two years now. I've been making skincare for three. I'd actually gone to school for business and originally I just wanted to start some type of luxury brand. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I love the idea of creating something that people can take home and just really make themselves feel like they're treating themselves. So what I decided to do was start making skincare for my kids and then once people decided that it was a pretty lucrative thing, they were like, you know, you should sell this stuff, it's amazing. I just basically tweaked formulas and made it more with the aromatherapy in mind rather than skin wellness. So um, I just incorporated that with the idea of having something luxurious and affordable and that's how I came up with it. So some of the challenges I face to this day is consistency. Um, I used to be the type to just take on a bunch at one time and I always advise business owners to not bite off more than you can chew. So um, I used to like, you know, jump quickly for opportunities, especially when I first came out. I pretty did, I pretty much did really well with my branding and stuff. So a lot of opportunities came my way from like Macy's and Condé Nast and a lot of bigger brands who thought I was a lot more established than I was in the beginning. And um, the challenge was like not um, hopping on every opportunity and just learning to not take on something unless I can really put my best foot forward and represent myself in the best light. When I first started, it, I was literally like, you know, I it was more of a passion project. It was like, um, I still have my day job as an office manager in private equity, but um, I had originally considered this to be like my side hustle and it's suddenly become my main hustle. So um, originally I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna sell great skincare and great aromatherapy stuff to people I know. And then it turned into like, like wow, this is, I really have something under me. Like I really realized what sets me apart from a lot of other skincare brands, especially when I'm doing pop-up shops and stuff. So finally, I just had this vision of having a luxury store. Um, and originally, I thought Manhattan, but I'm like, you know, Manhattan has more than enough luxury as it is. So I'm a resident of the Bronx now, and I would love to open up something really nice there. And I've actually been looking at a couple of stores, but the challenge really comes to the demographics and the income of the neighborhood that I've been looking at. Um, they typically only make around like 20 something thousand a year, so they aren't really inclined to shop for things like this. So I'm just really trying to put it together in my head, like how can I make something like this more appealing to them where I can have like a really nice store and you know, the Bronx can finally access really beautiful and luxurious skincare in a nice space rather than it just being some crap store thrown together simply because the neighborhood is poor. I got my bachelor's degree in business management. I work in administrative, in the administrative field. So originally I just wanted to be an executive assistant. Like that really was my goal. So um, I tackled that. I was an administrative assistant, an executive assistant. Now I'm an office manager. And I went a lot further in my career than I intended to be. And then now I'm at the place where I'm like, you know, it's not that I don't want to work for someone forever because I really do love my career, but um, just the joy I get out of really kind of like giving people a piece of me when it, when they buy from my business and giving them, I feel like, a part of my essence and my love and my idea ideals when it comes to like self-care and self-love. It's just become so much more important than just like having a great career to show for. Things actually have gotten better because my online sales were pretty decent. Um, I had like a viral video back in December that really um, kind of like pushed my business forward as far as sales. But um, being that everyone's sitting on home shopping online, like more people are seeing my stuff and I have like People who I might have had on social media who noticed my brand, but like, you know, they were still running to like Bed Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret and all of these places that had um, temporarily shut down. So it kind of forced them to be like, okay, let me check out like these small online brands. And then especially with the um, current time of like Black Lives Matter and really uplifting black businesses and stuff, it really propelled myself a lot further than I imagined. And then, um, you know, I just got back out here. This is only my second time street bending, but I, it's a good way to see like what areas react to certain ways when it comes to my products, so it's been interesting.
I would say keep being great. Like I was an awesome 15 year old. Like I definitely was a little troubled in school, but I surrounded myself with a lot of older women and great mentors. So I would just tell, like reassure 15 year old me that things are gonna turn out really well and just keep surrounding yourself with the people you're surrounding yourself with um, who have more to offer and can show you a different way of life than what you've been taught. So um, I'm really passionate about astrology and the mystic arts. So basically what I did was I did research on each zodiac sign and according to the research I did like certain scents are more calming like for instance um, Scorpios are known for like their sensuality and spiciness so like their scent has a more spicy and like cinnamon cinnamony mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's a word um, scent to it whereas Taurus is known for like um, being more like aesthetic and like um, light and flirty so they have like a more bubbly sweet scent um, so yeah, so I basically made the soaps to resemble like the universe. So I used the, the color associated with each sign and I just put like some sparkle mica in it to make it a little more mystical, but they're just really a fun gift to give. It's not like scientifically proven. Um, I also have the body butters, which um, are great for the skin. They have like cocoa butter, shea butter, sweet almond and vitamin E in them. And I named them like Keep Calm Libra and Keep Calm for all the zodiac sign because they have the scent that's associated with keeping the, calm, the sign calm. My most favorite products that I sell are my aphrodisiac mas essential massage oils and candles. So um, I consider myself to be a really sensual person, so I wanted to really put that into my skincare. Um, that's what I really, really would consider to be my niche. Um, most skincare brands, you know, they have these like lotions and balms and things like that, which I do have. But um, I really focus on the aphrodisiac things because I use essential oils that are known to do things like increase blood flow, um, release endorphins and serotonins, and get really all of those good. Um, feel good hormones moving and it's been proven like a lot of couples who have tried my things said that they feel closer and more connected with their partners and it feels really good to know that I'm bringing people more together and giving them a new way to express their sexuality in their relationships which it's a common problem in relationships for like um, you know the spark to die out due to not trying things like this so I take a lot of pride in this aspect of what I do and I really do worked hard to try to come up with a formula I have the 40 Shades of Choke, which is more for like, um, it says passion, uh, pleasure, and intensity. I have the Lush Lavender Rose, which is for re relaxation, stress relief, and comfort. And then I have the Love and Affection one, which is self-love, deep intimacy, and connection. So I like to use this one. I'm not in a relationship now, so I like to use this one just for myself. Like, it makes me feel really connected with my body and... It just makes me feel whole. Like it's a it's a really sweet smell that just makes me feel really feminine and nice. So I always tell people because they always say to me like, "Well, I don't have a partner, so how can I use it?" I'm like, you know, just treat yourself. That's what my brand is really all about. That's why I call it JD Body Treat Yourself. So these are the men's beard oil. They have castor oil, sage, and peppermint. And basically, it's like a growth accelerate accelerator and um, antibacterial. And then um, I have like the basics, like my body butters, which have aromatherapy properties. Um, this one has lavender and geranium, which is known for relieving stress and anxiety, as well as helping um, induce sleep. I also have vanilla oatmeal and shea. Like there's a, there's, this is like not even half of my inventory. And I make all of this from scratch. Sometimes I'm up till five in the morning because I am a single mom of three. <laughs> so it's really hard to work around the baby's schedule. But when I do, it's like, I'm literally up for hours making it and I, I don't get tired because I'm so passionate about it. And um, I just love when my customers come back to me and they're like, you know, this product helped me with A, B, and C or it helped fix my relationship or, you know, not, I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there, I'm not going to fix anyone's relationship, but it's happened. So, um, you know, it doesn't, the amount of work I put into it, it doesn't even feel like it's so much work because of the results.